All right, so let's start out by adding, um, sure, let's go with device. Let's see if we have uh, Ecobee support. We do. Room sensor, thermostat. Let's add thermostat. Install and connect. Installing the app. Curious to see how long this all takes. We can confirm that. Uh, the Ecobee login. Thermostats added. Oh, there we go. There she shows up. Ha, <laughs> nice. That was easy. Let's go ahead and add the sensors. Finds all four of them instantly. I like where this is going so far. What's this about? Motion alarm. Hilarious. <laughs> Don't want that, but I guess I'll dis disable that. That must be somewhere. <laughs> oh, I guess it's because it's active. Theater room, plant room. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so it's detected motion in the last little while. <laughs> All right, because I thought it was giving some kind of an alarm status. All right, so now that the Ecobee is done and installed and all the devices are showing up here, we can go over to Flows. And you can see that I already worked on one here. This is uh, gonna, going to be running my thermostat control for the entire house. And uh, if you'd like to follow through, you're more than welcome to kind of take a look and see what I've built here. But these are the things that I kind of wanted to do in the past with Habitat that I was not able to do. Uh, specifically the logic of adjusting the thermostat. I guess you could probably do this in Habitat with if statements, but this uh, flow setup, once you're kind of getting used to it, it's pretty sweet on just visually being able to follow. The other thing that's nice with the flows too is at any point in time, you can right click and click test from here and it'll follow through and kind of just show you the logic. So this one here, this is the every hour one. And I'll just kind of show you what the test looks like. You can see exactly where it's making the yes, no decisions, what it's doing, and you can follow it down. And this is exactly what we want the temperature to be set in the house right now, based on the temperature. As far as building these flows from scratch, the when is kind of like the if or the starter. This uh, gives you the options. And if you click on any of one of the tabs, you can kind of see what the starters can be or the initial if or the statement to initiate your commands and if you want multiple commands to initiate that need to be true that's where the and comes in most of what i'm doing so far has been in a logic subset so i'm liking that and then finally once you have it all said and done you can go to then and you can have multiple thens of the actions that you wish to execute after the conditions are met. And that's kind of most of the ones up here. I think this is an and and uh, these are ands as well, but I'm pretty sure that these are thens. So multiple sets of commands. The push notification is also beneficial here. That goes to your app uh, on the phone and it shows up right away. And it's not an annoying alert. You don't need any third party, anything. It just bings on your phone like any other text message would. So I like that. Uh, the also inside here, we have presence available as well. And right now I'm not setting this on the device. I probably will in the future, but first we'll kind of get something set up. We'll get something going and then we'll tweak it as we go a little further maybe. Now there is one downside to this thing. So there is more functions on here that I can do and I can do easily 
or a little easier than I can on the Hubitat. I've been kind of monitoring the CPU and usage of the app. It's definitely faster and it's more of a capable system. That's what I've noticed so far. But I lost one function and it kind of irritates me a little bit under the then. One of the automations that I have in my Hubitat is to run the furnace fan if the temperature between the upstairs and down here gets too far out of whack, more than I think a half degree or a degree, it'll run the furnace fan to circulate and balance the temperatures. Anyway, if I go into my Ecobee, these are my options. Set mode, resume program, and set the temperature. Now what's funny is the resume program thing initially dropped off of the Hubitat, and I don't think I have it there anymore, but now I've got it here but I don't have any way of turning the furnace fan on or off on here. <laughs> so what I'm learning here so far is it's almost like you need both to do all the things that I would like this to do. It's kind of a bit of a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. Not, not too impressed with that. Anyway, whatever. Gained some here, lost some on Hubitat, so still equal uh, as far as that goes. Uh, as far as working with the flows inside of Homey Pro, I've got to say it's very intuitive. I really like the UI. This UI going back and forth on anything, I wish we had this UI or something close to this in Habitat. Making this flow here, not knowing a single thing about this, not reading any instructions, watching any tutorials, nothing. I spent uh, probably about 45 minutes to an hour just kind of poking around and figuring out, uh, getting this going to set this up. So it's very intuitive, very easy if you've done any of this stuff before. The other thing I kind of will talk about too is you can set your own variables in here. A lot of the stuff that you're going to need is already preset. This for me is easier to set the variable than it is to do just inside. And this kind of lets me chain off and run the automation based on what is heat and cool. And it's just an easy way to see later on if I want it to kind of show up somewhere. The temperature over here, I really eat this right up. The weather, current temperature outside is on here now this isn't accurate i think it's just a representation because if i go over here this is the actual temperature outside today but being able to go to a flow and add functionality on that i'm liking that a lot another thing that may be beneficial to you as well here is you can also add math inside your logic subset here so just when you're selecting a device after you've clicked on any one of the device tags that you're using, you can add the math after if you want to, and the calculations do work correctly. If I run the automations, you'll see this one is true, which means this one here should be false. Go down to exit that, and we'll run this one. And you can see that one finished out and the outcome is false. This is actually really nice as well. You have a true and false flow that you can click and drag to right off of the same node. Very visual, very, it's really, really nice to see. Uh, I find it way easier. You don't get lost in, uh, lost in the code maybe. Uh, I'm not a coder. I'm more of a, just a hack job. So anyway, enough ranting about it. That's uh, flows in a nutshell. I really like them so far. I've found them intuitive and very easy to use. The Ecobee one here so far, some wins, some losses over Hubitat, but the UI is definitely beating the pants off of Hubitat right now. <laughs>